talk about MMOs and probably get sidetracked a lot. But thank you guys for coming out to cast, so let's start. Anybody want to just jump into it, or we, or should I like issue a topic or something? I love MMOs. <laughs> I do too. Well, so, do you, know, you even know how should... to spell MMOs? No, but <laughs> we probably should start by telling people what they are, just in case yes. for some strange reason someone doesn't know what an MMO is. Uh, 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 those people, but MMO. That was too like M- too many M's there, Punjit. <laughs> So, so someone should, yeah. So MMO massively, massively multiplayer. multiplayer online, generally considered RPGs, although there's also first-person shooter MMOs. Yes. Right. So it's so well basically, Minecraft an MMO? Uh, no, it's technically not. Um, games like World of Warcraft, Anarchy Online, Lord of the Rings Online, games along those lines are considered MMOs. I, th- I think you could kind of consider it because it's multiplayer. It but could be massively. I will give it and there's that. a lot of people playing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the difference massively. is like massively multiplayer online games are generally considered games with anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand people in one area at any given moment. There's no way a Minecraft server could run that, so that's why it's not considered an MMO. What are you oh, talking I about? See. We have 10,000 people on the server. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's all about server capacity. <laughs> Seems like it. That's why it's massively multiplayer. Yeah, basically, mm-hmm. the way you can be an MMO is to have your EP be bigger than everybody else's EP. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. I totally so, missed that. So, do you guys have any favorite MMOs? Ultima Online. Old oh, school. God. <laughs> Ultima was actually really fun. It was perfect. They'll never make one like it. So, um, personally speaking, I think that Star Wars Galaxies, before it got turned into the old or the new incarnation, I know, Pocket, I know. I love um, that game. That had to be my <laughs> second one. That was a good so, one. Back when it came out, um, you could actually, there was no classes. There was no none of this because a lot of MMOs have classes that you start as. Um, there was no classes in old school Star Wars Galaxies, so you made a character of whatever race and gender you wanted, and built it how you wanted. Like, I had a character who had no combat skills and was a dancer and musician. You may, I, uh, you may have when healed When I played me. that game, I uh, played a doctor, and I was also a pistolier, so I would go shoot people in the face and then make them pay me to heal them. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the the point of that game? Like, what, what was there, it about and stuff? So it was a Star Wars universe-based game, but there was no point. There was no end game. Well, there was raids, but nobody ever did them. But there was no point. It was build your character how you wanted and roleplay. Exist. Yeah, it was super heavy on social aspects. And everything in the game was crafted. You didn't like go to an NPC and buy stuff. If you needed power for your house, you had to actually build like generators and stuff, and you could sell power to people. And like you could make like in that game, I would make a million credits every like two hours just from AFK dancing and buffing people. Oh my, that's Mm -hmm. amazing. Then they had they had the crafting system was pretty ingenious. They actually had like people that like taming and stuff like that and other MMOs like creature handling. They actually had a class called bioengineering where you can genetically engineer monsters to fight for you. It was it was actually pretty good. I don't know any I don't know any MMOs that don't have a pet system nowadays. <laughs> pets are fun. Um mm-hmm. Was it anything like Eve Online? No. Oh god no. I'm being fed. It kind of sounded like it was. <laughs> I felt bad. Uh. <laughs> Eve Online isn't a game. It's it's a wannabe flight simulator. <laughs> My friend used to play it all the time. I'm like, why do you pay for that? But well, so it's like everybody's like, oh, it's a really great space combat game. I'm like, you don't control your ship. You choose one of three preset flight paths and then push two buttons. Asteroids for Atari like, was good intense. for a flight simulation. I just thought it was silly because there was like a monthly payment. I, I used so to pay. I didn't bother. I used to pay for a monthly paid game. <laughs> You're like, which one? Healthy. For like two years. Which one? Um, I played wow. Ragnarok online for like two years. Oh, you played Ragnarok? Ragnarok. You yeah, played R.O. R-O. when it was paid? 
I, I actually pay, played it when it was open beta, and then it went to where you had to pay, and then I started paying for it. <laughs> and I ended up like playing it for like a year and a half before I went on to private servers, but I, I spent a lot of money on that game. I think um, I played that um, a little bit, and isn't it like kind of like um, WoW sort of? It it is, but it's like a two D sprite. It's it's so oh. cute and adorable. Yeah. No, I, I'm not. I don't, I don't know that one. <laughs> it, it's super famous in the MMO world. I heard a lot about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can sadly admit that I have played WoW for seven and a half years now. That's insane. Oh. And WoW is expensive that as well, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, like sixteen dollars a month, but I generally paid for it in like year chunks, so it came out to like nine or soon. Wow! I played. I only played the beta. That's hardcore. For like, you get it like a beta for a month from like if you're friend. Uh -huh. So I only played that, and then I just, just didn't care to pay for it. And hey, then, monkey! Like, you, you can't tell people to kill me. That's that's messed up. He offered Skyrim earlier to kill you. He offered Skyrim, honestly. The show is canceled. No. I'm leaving. I'm running away. Offer, I can't refuse. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Alfie. You're really lucky that I don't want to walk all the way up there or you'd be dead because I want Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my it's... dirty little secret that I will air to everybody watching this is I have paid almost $3,000 to League of Legends. Wow. wow. Isn't League Whoa. of Legends free? Isn't League of, League of Legends free? Unless you want you all the skins. <clears throat> Pocket, are you competitive with it or you just like all of the add-ons and stuff? That's a Laurel. Oh, um, my bad. Oops. <coughs> Hi. Oops. Pocket is the no. nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Potato, if you touch my mom, I'll kill you. For a second there, it looked like you had a sunburn punch just when she punched you. <laughs> <laughs> But skin. so on LOL, I have mostly it's when I see a champion that I like, I'll buy it right away because okay. I'm really bad about playing the game. And then Thanks. I really like to buy skins because oh looking like everybody else is boring. Okay, good. <laughs> so add me. <laughs> I was just making sure you weren't one of those competitive crazy people. I actually do play competitive. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Pungents, give me the melons. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him melon. <laughs> oh. I think that needs to turn to a song somehow. I, what is League of Legends? We need to do a parody. Yes. So, um, if you've ever played Defense of the Ancients or any, no. it's okay. tower defense. Yeah, it's a tower defense. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain it's like, League it's like of Legends Warcraft, but easily. Like the not yeah. The Warcraft. Did you ever play Warcraft <laughs> 2? Yes, I love that game. Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Old school Warcraft, Warcraft 2. Awesome. Or Starcraft. So maybe uh, I would like... I'm going to say this lovingly, Probably. though. It has know. the worst community in the world. League of it Legends. Really? Warcraft? Wow. It's the most no. League, League of Legends. Lol League of has Legends? the worst community ever. Wow. There is wow. very few good people on that game. Most of them are just annoying little shits. Mean. I, <laughs> like, like, they make Mind Z trolls look like nice people. Uh huh. Wow. But, like, yeah. speaking of, uh, like, LOL type games, there is one called Smite that is quite hype up about. It's in third. It's actually in third person, I think. Smite hype? Smite. Mm hmm. Wait, I have I'm, not looked into that one have yet. You, have you guys heard, heard of that? No. 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 no, no, no. I'm the only one. It's I've heard of it. There's, I've heard there's of another it. Asian. Thing. Sell it to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Asian. It, it's not Asian themed. It's basically um, it's basically low, but you get to play in third person, and um. And you fly around on a disc. <laughs> what the hell? And um, you play as a god from different religions. Like there's H Hindi gods, Hindu gods. Hindi? Is it Hindi or Hindi? Hindu? Hindi? <laughs> Hindi? <laughs> Hindi? There's, there, there's Hindu. Greek gods. Um, Notch is a Hindi god. Oh no, that's an Indi god. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, <laughs> there's Chinese gods. Um, there's, what was it? Norse? So you, you basically yes. just play as a god and it's basically low. And I've, I've seen some people play it. And Sounds like know. fun. Uh -huh. hmm. and Interesting. It's currently, it's currently in beta, from what I heard. Is it free? Free beta? Yeah, the beta is free, but you need to get a code from somebody. But a lot of people are giving out codes. Give me the code. Give us codes. I don't have a code. Give me the code. Give us the to... codes. We have to fire the missiles. <laughs> use, your ninja, use your ninja powers to get the code. <laughs> Just kill somebody and take their code. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, 
I played uh, Mario RPG a long time ago. <laughs> that was so <laughs> good. <laughs> I wish that was an MMO. <laughs> that, my first RPG game. All right, yeah, we, we, we're one. switching over to RPGs, I guess. I, I, I feel the need <laughs> that I have to like make Pungents go play Hello Kitty online. He should. He already Ooh, does. I'm down for that. You should, what you should record it. You can do an LP oh. of Hello Kitty online. You will be instant I think famous. That would be awesome. Like, overnight. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. You'll I'm be more playing. famous than Beatable. Like, what? <laughs> yep. Wow. Your brother looked like smut. Smut? I was gonna say, Smut's yeah. very popular <laughs> online. <laughs> That's yeah. the first word I could think of. Well, you got my attention. I'm recording. <laughs> Your brother does kind of look like Smut. He's just. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he's he's I, sexy I for an LP. Is one all one I'm saying. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. He's the, a very beautiful the, person. I think I'm one of the few people in this room right now that does not play MMOs. Okay, you don't play MMOs. No. Oh. No, I don't. Okay. I don't. You're outcast. Everybody throws is, something at him. Is Hello Kitty <laughs> online an MMO? Yep. Yes, it is. Okay. So people are saying they're totally watching it, so you have a hit right there. Yeah, okay. there's like four people saying that they'll watch it right there. <laughs> that's that's everybody. Hello you Kitty. Know, I need to do some recording tomorrow. So what do I need to do? Just go HelloKitty.com. Hey. <laughs> Google search Hello Kitty online. You're gonna get smut if you do that. You Be careful, Fine. You should oh. make that. You should make that your 200th video. Oh. Yes. It'll be amazing. Yes. You know, I actually just. Finished editing that bad boy. You scrapped it. I'm gonna Ooh, trash it. I'm gonna trash it, and I'm gonna replace it with the Hello Kitty. Yes. 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 Hit right there. A hit right there. Just, just put a clip of Hello Kitty at the beginning. And be like, just kidding, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. I'll do I'm that. still so completely off topic and nowhere near MMOs. Am I the only person who's kind of annoyed that Goode never finished that stupid pony game of awesome? I no. wish you did. Um, <laughs> the pony. Me. That pony game was pretty awesome. Sorry, you were, we were talking about Hello Kitty videos and I was like, troll videos! Hey, that pony one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Um... We can we can move on though. I I think the plan is I'll I'll record Hello Kitty. That'll be my 200th video, and uh, I'll be, be awesome. bigger than B Double O. <laughs> In no time. AKA amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bigger than Smut. Yep. <laughs> if that's possible. Wow, that's a huge so, goal. <laughs> Alfie, are you looking forward to um Mop with the Pokemons? Mop was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. the, the next World of Warcraft expansion will have pandas. I, I don't play World of and Warcraft. Pokemon. What? 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 They're, they're, Pokemon? they're putting Pokemon in World I, of Warcraft. Gonna... No. No. Okay. Blizzard okay. just sold Pokemon their soul to Diablo. Yeah, catch them all. Well, yeah, so yeah. what they're calling it is the non combat pet capture battle system. Wow. Wow. <sighs> you can go wandering in the world and encounter wild animals and capture them to fight other people with them if they put pokemon in i want to see hello kitty in there it's no, already no, no. in there i, I think it's hello called, kitty's already in there i think it's called grasping at straws yeah i think blizzard mm -hmm. is out of out of ideas and they just need to stop it shows with they're, the album embarrassing themselves let's now. just add some more copyright characters to the game speaking they of... didn't have enough with the legend of zelda ones and the mario ones and... Oh yeah, that was just hilarious. I still can't believe that lawsuit didn't go through. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Blizzard, how do you guys feel about Diablo, the Diablo franchise? God, I know it's, horrible. The, it's horrible. Diablo 3 sucked. It was the biggest waste of my life. My is whole playing childhood I'm still having fun Diablo with it. Two, I... It broke my heart when I played Diablo 3. I played it through once, being uh -huh. and, and every, I mean, it was fun. But there's no replayability to it. Yeah, I finished it. I basically mm -hmm. played the close beta, and uh, my impression was just they slap boots on it and try to sell it to little boys. <laughs> that's that's really all they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played the beta with my boyfriend, and it was not that great. Like honestly, the only reason I might go back and play it again is to get to whatever the last difficulty is, so I can get access to the pony world. The pony. I I don't think you want to go there. 
uh, Inferno mode, or whatever the heck it is. I don't remember. It's been like a month since yeah, I, I played now. So. <laughs> it's just, it's a whole lot of tears. I mean, it's it's hard, and it, that's good that it's hard, but it's it's impossible hard unless you spend all your time on the auction house. And the auction house is, in my opinion, what ruined Diablo 3 for me. Uh, the game's about finding things, and most people just jump on the auction house, buy all their stuff, and then they get to the end of the game and they say, where's the end content? I'm bored. Well, your auction house was your end content, and you ruined the game. So, one of my friends actually made like $1,000 the first day that auction house came out. What? It's very possible. People are spending yeah. hundreds of dollars on just single items. Oh, well, so... Are you talking about real money? Or... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, the narrow. Well, so what? what Blizzard did is they put a real money auction house into Diablo 3. Mm. Um, they waited to release it until about two months after Diablo 3 had been out. The issue is, is that within the first, like, 32 hours, the game had been beaten on the hardest difficulty by multiple groups of people. So that gave them months to farm up this legendary level gear and turn around and sell it. On the real money auction house for profit. Hmm. Don't they also have something like that in WoW where like people would just make a living just by selling um, things? Well, that's yeah, only if legit. you're a gold farmer. You can't actually do it legitimately and legally. Mm hmm. I I've heard Although, stuff about it. They there's a rumor going around because they're gonna put what's called a black market auction house in with Mr. Pandaria, mm -hmm. which is going to be you can buy all of your epic level raid gear, like your end game gear. And mounts and stuff from this vendor, it'll be limited amounts of items, random loot, but it'll still be you can pay your way to the best gear you can possibly get. <sighs> wow. I actually started that rumor, play? it's not true. And hey, what's the point of playing at that point? Well, um, to have the most gold, I think one person's up to like 6 million gold or something. I'm gonna tell you what I get out of the game. Omega and I just ran through the normal difficulty level just he and I on a co-op and we had a load of fun y'all it really is just a good game to platform on because once you get your skills adjusted you really don't have to worry about in-game content if you don't want to the game is what you want to make it there is plenty of grinding at the end if that's what you want to do and I enjoy a little bit of that um, a couple of glasses of wine will make anything fun, but a few <laughs> friends and I just get on Inferno and just die a lot mostly, but try to get this epic yeah. loot, and if if you get it, you can sell it or use it, great, and you get more powerful and you can get a little bit further, but yeah, there, there definitely is a lot of um, monotony in it after a little while, but it's fun for what it is. For at least the storyline and the, the cinematics is pretty good for the first go-round. See, that was my issue, is like Diablo 2, no matter how many times you went around on it, it was always fun for the storyline. Diablo 3, that storyline was really pathetic and obvious. Well, Diablo 2, I got to the point Ooh, where nice I, I just basically went on it to PvP people, and I did something really stupid where I had like an amazing character with amazing gear, and my internet got disconnected. It was like in the day of 56k internet. It got disconnected because somebody called my house, and I was in a rush to get back into the battle. And I clicked that, delete, <laughs> delete instead of join, and I pressed oh, yes. No. So everything just went down the drain, and I, I just quit. I just gave up. Give me that, Mel. <laughs> oh no. That is, that's depressing, actually. Yeah, I, that I was so suck. bummed that I just quit the game forever. <laughs> yeah, so I, I bought Diablo 3 the day it came out, downloaded it, played well. A day or so after I could finally log in, I played through the first chapter or so, mm -hmm. and then never touched it until a few weeks ago. Um, I hopped on with King Noobs and Mahayu and Ray, uh, Rayman. We just started playing on King's live stream, and it's been pretty fun. Just, <laughs> it, it's more fun, like you were saying, Zuljan, where you, you're playing with friends and just kind of chit chatting while you're doing it and stuff like that. So, agreed. Yeah, I've been discovering that with games like Dungeon Defenders and Borderlands, that if you have people with you, it's so much fun. I think any game is like, if you have people with you, it's more fun. Just Pretty much. Fun mm -hmm. Which is Agreed. my opinion of here, actually. It's kind of why I'm right. happy. Mm -hmm. I play like MMOs, actually, to be honest. You can just talk to people and stuff. 
that's what I was think, great about <laughs> Ultima <laughs> because it was one of the first. Nowadays, it's just downhill because I enjoyed this game. I don't remember what it was called. I used to do MMO hopping during the summer before I played Minecraft. Like I would just randomly dabble MMOs and play them. There was one that it's like it's PvP by default, or someone could just uh, the world isn't in PvP, but like someone could set it so where they could kill you nice. or something. And I, there's this guy that was like, like, let me kill you. He was just chasing me around the entire time, and I found that really stupid, so I just stopped playing that game. But I feel like a lot of things, like, it's just stat, like, it's a grind fest, and people just go on to PvP, like, and I'm not like, really even interested in PvPing. So I don't, I don't really see a point in MMOs anymore. Yeah, that's it's the there. unfortunate thing. I feel like a lot of MMOs, they've geared towards PvP now, and they don't uh, mm -hmm. seem to put much attention to the PvE aspect of the games anymore. Yeah, and they, sell, the they just sell that? boobs. They just sell boobs a lot. Well, it's like if you Terra for boobs sell <laughs> melons. Terra <laughs> melons. <laughs> Giving him melons. Well, so if you look at um, Wow, that's basically where Wow, where all of Wow's like how they balance the game is it's completely balanced around PvP melons? now oh. instead of PvE. No, <laughs> melons. I missed one. You cannot <laughs> have my melons. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not balanced around melons. <laughs> <laughs> now, mine Z. Mm -hmm. Um, and there, there is a lot of PvP in there, but they they've really been trying to gear it more towards PVE and and working cooperatively with people on on the servers, but on the public servers, mm -hmm. it, it's just it's pretty much just PvP. People just um, I've changed that last night on US Public Eight last night. I heard I even mean, on on DayZ it's like that where like somebody yeah. I, I was in somebody's live stream and they were like I was live streaming and somebody just people just came and killed me so I hate that game. Well, why wouldn't so you want to kill somebody if one good shot DayZ can give you everything? Is not what <laughs> well, they What they're doing is they're killing people that just spawn in, so they have. Just, oh, that's just griefing. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you gonna get those everywhere. Those are League of Legends players most likely. <laughs> 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 You're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, but, I mean, they've been trying to add things to try to make people work together, such as they've added giant zombies. I was and, fighting one of those this morning. They take forever to kill. Yeah, you have to work in oh, a group wow. almost to take on those, because as soon as you hit them, they drop regular zombies. Well, and, no, okay. so... No, they changed it, because I was fighting one this morning near Al Hausa, and he would jump in the air and then hit the ground and basically do gas blasts in multiple directions. Oh, I wonder. They may have multiple zombies, though, too, for different areas. That could be. I just know the one in Al Hasa was just like, would jump up, hit the ground, and slam in every direction. They fed him broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> but, but yeah, the whole the whole I mean, PvP in the right in the right game setting is okay. Mm-hmm. Agreed. But I think it's when, nice if it's consensual. Right. I used to um That's in an MMO I played. <laughs> it was like Wait, who said that? Zoltan, I think. Uh huh. <laughs> Consensuality? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I interrupted someone. Keep going. <laughs> Um, and then an MMO played, it was like a big ATV AT thing you do, uh, that you had to sign up for, but it was really awesome because, I don't know, it was just like super amounts of teamwork and, uh, and I was a cleric, so I got to heal everyone. <laughs> 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 but I don't know, I think, I think PvP is good if you actually want to take part in it, but if you don't, it just kind of sucks. Well, that's one thing that I like so much about Ultima Online, and that's before, after it went hardcore, after it wasn't hardcore anymore, I should say. They had two worlds identical to each other. One was PvP-based, and one was non-PvP. So, if you wanted to live in the area, they had some things like uh, double resources when you mined, for instance, but everything in that area was a risk, because if you saw somebody else, they were full game, you know, you can kill them and take their stuff. Which is how a lot of games, especially those, oh, by potato, um, by potato? especially a lot of games, those like, um, Mindsy and Daisy. <laughs> Later, Tater. Later, Tater. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so perfect, dude. 
<laughs> Someone didn't read the rules. Uh oh, what's the rules? Oh. The rules say you're supposed oh. to be here for the full 90 to 120. Oh, he left. Uh -oh. He left. Uh -oh. Oh. He left. Oh. Oh. oh, too bad. Server ban. I should have yeah, known something when he didn't put his pick in the chest. All right, everyone, we have an opening for the fan server. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Don't take that seriously. Uh -oh. so we we, we, we take life to. really seriously, especially a virtual life. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, that's one of the major issues with Mine, Z, and Daisy is people don't actually go out and get gear. Mm -hmm. They just <laughs> sit in the south and kill the same 20 people over and over again, which is <gasps> why on That's Mines, on Mines <laughs> last <laughs> night, I was actually... What happened? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I was actually making... Yeah. Wow. That's gross. Um, <laughs> I actually helped form basically an army on server 8 that... Ew. Okay, from back here, that just looks grody. <laughs> <laughs> How come I can't see what's happening right now? What just happened? Like, from, well, on server 8, I helped form basically an army of people with no gear. There was like 20 of us at one point that would just go around killing bandits. And that was our whole purpose in life, was just to wipe out bandits. <laughs> You ever seen 20 people in a leather chest piece with a wooden sword take on people in iron armor? It's Yesterday. Funny. Yesterday. I think I have. In like some other game. People have done that before. <laughs> Alfie is desperately trying to keep us on any topic. Well, We're just kind of like uh, I, everywhere. Alright, I think we, we kind of just sucked all the life out of the, the MMO about, topic. Yeah. Do you guys want to switch over? I was talk about something. Oh, oh yeah, Morgan, you have something to I was googling some of like... Stuff. I was trying to remember some of the MMOs I played, and uh -huh. um, Silk Road. City of Heroes. Silk Road. Did anyone ever oh. play that? What is Silk Road online? I, I've heard a lot, a, lot, a lot about it. I played that uh, probably five years ago. I haven't played it. Back isn't, in isn't my it day. I played City yeah, of Heroes for a long time. <laughs> that was a pretty Ooh, good group and game. Morgan, did you ever play Gunzu? No. No. <laughs> it's another weird anime thing. Alright, how do you guys want to switch topics? I feel like we should just shift. I have a, a lot bit. more to, to say what? about MMOs, but I'd be okay to switch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Smelly right there is being left out a little bit. <laughs> no, no, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Alright, do you guys want to talk about RPGs instead? You know, MMO RPG. That's a big I used to topic. Play an MMO RPG. Well, it's big. In so it's good. And do, do, do we really want to go into RPGs? I think we would be here for the next eight years. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I will still stop you guys within like a. Third, Give me the melons. Within thirty minutes or so. <laughs> so. Hello. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe in an hour. We scratch it. I I heard but, that Pungents used to play why did you the Mario me, RPG. Monkey, it's not nice. <laughs> Ma Mario RPG was my first RPG game. And in my last. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so that's a, that's a horrible I really, topic. To I really to. think so. That game yeah. was so good. <laughs> it, yeah, it was. It wasn't too bad. Like, I don't know. It was just tough for me because I was like, well. Have, have you played you like do... Paper Mario or something? Paper Mario no. counts. Seriously? Is that an RPG? Yeah, it counts. Paper Mario counts. Okay. You, you never played it? No. Like, I feel like with RPGs, isn't it like you you? Deal like damage to somebody, uh -huh. and then you let them make a move to you or something. You go back yeah, and like forth. Yeah, like turn based. Yeah. So you you like more of like action games. Yes, yes. Cause um. yeah, I don't know. I feel like when they hit you, mm -hmm. you just have to let them. Your guards down. You just gotta let them hit you.